Hi, welcome back to another video. My name is Trujan. So in this video, we're going to see how we can recover Tolino e-reader. I actually got this device from uh, one of my friends. So this is a uh, Tolino Shine 3, as I told you before. And uh, uh, this was stuck in the recovery mode. Even though you wipe the data, do a factory reset and restart the system, it is not getting out of the recovery mode. So, so then uh, I went through different blocks and, uh, and the service manual. Then I understood that there is an SD card in it, um, which acts as a bootable device. That means uh, it has the software and the firmware in it. So I thought, okay, let me remove this and take out the SD card and uh, reinstall the software in the SD card and pull it back. So let's see how we can do that. And uh, please be aware that if you remove the case, the warranty is void. That means the warranty is no longer valid. If your Tolino e-reader is still in the warranty period, I would recommend you to contact uh, the, the supplier so that uh, he would be happy to help you. Uh, but in my case, the warranty is uh, not valid. So I thought, okay, let me try to fix it. So let's see how we can do that. So as I told you before, this is uh, Tolino Shine 3 and, uh, and, and let me show you what is the problem. So currently the device is stuck in the recovery mode and it only gives me three options. So that is start the system, wipe the data, recover the system. So whichever the option I select and uh, try to process it, it again comes back to the same screen that is a recovery mode. So you can use the power button in the bottom to navigate through the option and then you can uh, long press it to select the option. So here I did a reboot now that is start the system. So it reboots and comes comes back to the same. So it is the same case with all the other three options. So now let me try to recover the system and then uh, I go to the yes uh, recover system and then I long press the power button. So it starts to recover the system. Even though I had charged the battery of uh, the device, it says, okay, you need to charge the battery and uh, actually the, the recovery aborts. So now it's the time to uh, remove the, the back cover of the device and then access the SD card. As I told you in the beginning that uh, there is an SD card uh, in, the, in the device. Here you can see the SD card which has a software or the firmware for this device. So before you remove that, you have to first disconnect the battery terminal. Yeah. So you disconnect the battery terminal first and then you remove the SD card. So now it's time to connect the SD card to your laptop. So now I've connected the SD card and I actually formatted the SD card before connecting. So that's why it is showing you 8 GB available. So then I open Win32 Disk Imager. Uh, the link for this software I will mention in the description below. You can download the software from the link. So now you have to select the correct device here. Uh, in my case, it is F drive that is uh, SD card. And then I select the image file. So you can download the image file from the link in the description. And then you select and you save the image file in the local uh, drive of yours. And then you select that image over here. So it takes quite some time to uh, write the image file into the SD card. So now I have actually fast forwarded the video. So now you can see that uh, the the software is written into the F drive and E drive is the is the empty space. So now uh, let me safely eject the SD card from the computer and then insert it to the Tolino device. So insert the SD card and then connect the battery now uh, long press the power button so you should see a light there so that means uh, that it starts to boot from the sd card so take some uh, few minutes for it to boot for the first time so here we go the software is booted from the sd card and uh, now uh, to put some books into my uh, tolino device so i will connect a usb cable to my computer 
and then now you can see that it goes into the USB mode. So I come back to my computer and then uh, I copy the PDF. Then I go back to the E drive into books and I paste it over here. So once it is copied, so now you can go back, uh, you can safely check the, the, the device from the computer and then you unplug the USB cable. So then you should be able to see that it starts to load the, the library again and it finds one book newly added into the SD card. So that's it about recovering this device. So now uh, there's a bonus. So here I'm going to show you how you can back up the uh, software which is already there in the SD card which is, which is functioning. For example, you have a Tolino and then you want to back up uh, the SD card into an image file. So you can follow this step to create one. So here you saw me doing that of selecting an image file which is already there. Uh, so be careful that make a copy of that image file because I'm here trying to overwrite the backup image file on the image file in your local drive. So I would recommend you to rename the file. See here you can see I renamed the file as underscore two. That's it in this video now. And thank you for watching. See you in the next one. Bye bye.